so I was pretty impatient and really wanted this shock tower off and I sat down here yesterday with about five cutoff wheels, three saw saw blades, and two flap discs. Wasn't that bad with cutoff wheels, I've done way worse, but my plasma stuff gets here tomorrow supposedly, so I'm gonna wait on that before I cut any more of these brackets off. But one thing I dread doing is rerunning all these brake lines. These brake lines are rusted bad. Um, can't get the ends off. I crimped them shut so they wouldn't leak while I do this, but brake lines are sucky to do. Today, while I'm waiting on my plasma stuff, I'm gonna get my light and see what it's gonna take to get this tank out of here. I think it has a full tank. I think I was a complete dummy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm bolt it, get my motorcycle jack over here, because it has a big wide platform. Get my motorcycle, yeah, get my bike jack under there, and then um, I think it would be wide enough where I could just drop it down by myself, pull it out, and then figure out how to get the fuel out from there. But yeah, I'm kind of just sitting here at a pause right now unless I want to get under here with the cutoff wheels and cut all this bracketry off. I really don't because I have a plasma cutter. If you're ever working on a painted surface and you're trying to get the paint off of it, um, like a frame or what I was doing there with all that paint and dirt and oil and stuff that's on those axles, um, get one of these plastic polycarbonate or polycarbonate, I'm just not sure what they're called. It's, you see how porous it is? And that paint and stuff won't stick in there and clog it up like a flapper wheel. Um, those work really good and fast. My gosh, they're fast. You'll take the paint off one of those I mean, you'll take the paint off that thing real quick. It does pretty good on cast too, on this cast stuff, as you can see. Cleans it down pretty good. Um, wears out kind of quick. They're kind of expensive and um, Harbor Freight has them. I got these at Big R. Uh, these are from Forney. And it's just a stripping disc, like a paint stripper. Yeah, they work really good.
So right now I got in here looking. I may just leave this tank bolted to this um, frame. I found a bunch of Bondo and rust that we're gonna have to deal with. Looks like the previous owner tried to cover some stuff up. As is to be expected. I'm gonna fix all that, but right now I'm gonna cut this frame a little long right here on both sides and just drop this whole thing out at once, I think. I'm gonna get all my cutting and stuff done and then unhook the wiring harness, the fuel lines, and then drop this baby down. I think there's some tail light wires that grow up through there, but once I start lowering it down, maybe I can fish those out. I really don't wanna drop the tank off the frame. Seems like extra work while it's in there. I can just do that while I have it out. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm going to try to cut both this side with the Sawzall. I'll probably run a ratchet strap from there around the other side that way just to keep it. And then when one of my buddies comes by, we'll drop this thing out and I have an extra hand and see what we need. I, maybe I'll drop it out by myself. I'm, I'm going to try, but right now I'm going to do it like this. All right, so the motorcycle jack worked great. It is literally just balance, balancing on the motorcycle jack right now. So uh, I'm going to attempt to pull this guy out. And I've got the frame out, so that's great. I got it out. Easy peasy. Was not bad at all. That's it. That's the back half out the TJ. Um, now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get my workspace cleaned up. Uh, kind of smells like gas. I'm going to cap that gas line off. And then I'm going to start getting my plates again and start mocking my plates up again. I'm going to fix that rust, cut all that out, plate, new, put new plates in that. And I don't know. That's it. This thing's out. I've been happy to get this out. This is a uh, this is one of the big big pieces to this puzzle is the back half kit. So we're getting getting well on the way for that. All right, I'm about to get my work stuff back on and get up under here and do some more grinding and some more yeah, some more grinding and cutting. Um, I still got to trim this side of the frame up. I already got the other side trimmed up. I got to trim up this side and then I'm going to get everything cleaned up, probably cut or get the e-brake cable out. It's in the way. I'm also, since I'm in the grind, I'm doing nothing but grinding today, I'm going to go ahead and come up here and grind off these plates. I also got me a big air hammer. I'm really hoping I can get that air hammer in there and break some of that loose get in there and do that. If not, I got some big seven inch grinding pads and I'm going to get, yeah, I really want to get everything cut and ground off. So I ain't got to do no more little cutting and grinding so I can get my garage cleaned up and I can stop, uh, I can uh, clean up my, my bibs here. I always use the same clothes to cut and grind in. I always use these Carhartt bibs to cover up my, whatever clothes I'm using. I usually wear a hoodie and some jogging pants under those and then I got a jacket that I specifically use when it's cold and then I got a hoodie that I specifically use when it's warmer and on that way I'm not just trashing uh, what little clothes I have. I don't have many clothes because I spend it all on car parts but yeah I'm gonna get to grinding. That's not much to look at video wise so I'm gonna keep on keeping on grinding but yeah that that frame cut up real easy and came out super easy. I was kind of dreading that part of it, but it wasn't that bad at all. So let me get back to work. All right, so this is what I've come up with this far. Um, I didn't video much of the grinding. I did a bunch of grinding over here. Um, yeah, I ground this side down. Cleaned my shop up a little bit. Um, ended up pulling this Harbor Freight rolling bench that I've had for a long time. I got this like two houses ago. I ended up pulling it out because I already had a vise mounted to it. So I mounted my chop saw to it 
and then I think I'm going to find a big piece of steel to bolt to it. That way I could clamp things on the side of it and uh, cut. And that freed up a little space over here. Got a little more room now, but. And I'm able to roll it around. I can roll it over there to the outside and throw the dust out the door instead of having it all in the, you know, getting it on a bike or something. But anyway, this is what I've come up with this far. Um, I've seen a bunch of people online how they were bringing their frame down, around. I've seen, you know, people, they would bring it, they would come to here and then notch it down and then bring it out for their bumper. And I, uh, for one, I didn't want to do all that. Two, I was like, man, how cool would it be to basically raise the bumper up too? So that's what I plan on doing. Uh, cut out the body right here and shove the frame through it. Mind you, this is not the pipe that I'm using. Um, I'm gonna get thicker, but that's just the exact same size as what's going in there. It's just gonna be a lot thicker. So that's pretty cool to me. Uh, I'm not gonna weld any of this in. I'm gonna take it back out and clean it all up real good in there. And just take, my, take this piece and use it on the other side to cut this one out too. I'm gonna come over here and just mimic what I did on that side over here and get the fenders cut out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this tailgate off because I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with a drop down tailgate for right now. I'm not gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it open, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got. I also got a lot of this rust repair done in here. Um, I cut out a lot of that rust that was right there and up under here and welded plate into it. There's still some sketchiness over here before I put on my my other before I put on my lower mounts I'm gonna grind all that out I'm, when I pull this out I'm gonna grind all that out and I think I'm going to uh, clean that up and just uh, put a plate or two in there to just in case I don't I didn't see any more rust up in there but you never know another thing that I did was there was a pinch seam right here that ran all the way down I cut that pinch seam and bent it over. I just notched it like you would an XJ fender or a, you know, a metal fender. You can kind of see right in there how I did it. And that allowed me to push this further that way. That way I had a shorter amount of frame here. That way it didn't come you know, out to here because my lower control arm is going to be coming out here. And if I could get this tucked back, so I beat all that in and was able to cut the nose off this thing and probably slide this thing another inch forward which was good so that I was able to slide this thing probably another inch or so forward which helped a lot I uh, may even cut it down some more and slide it up some more I, I made a lot of room right there um, it's not it's just clamped in right now I'm seeing how I'm gonna do it but yeah I really think that I could uh, cut this cut some more off this one scoot it forward and get it closer to the body and that would give me less frame right here that my um, that my mount would you know my arm would hit that would be and on the back side I'm still able to put my other plate on there and weld it all the way in so that'll be alright too uh, yeah so she's coming along I got everything cleaned up and picked up I also got online you got some uh, flap discs. These are from, I think these are from Empire Abrasives. Yeah, I got these from Empire Abrasives. Um, these were supposed to be really good. There's some ooh, zirconia flap discs. It's a 60 grit. And then I got some of these blue nylon things for stripping paint. And then I got another 10 pack of zirconia 40 grit flapper discs. A whole box of 10. Um, for when I get up in there from a little four inch, see how those work out. I don't know why they sent me these two. These are just 60 grit. These are the Arbor kind that screw on. I just want to try. I don't know why they sent me those two. Maybe for free. Who knows? But I'm going to use them. Highly recommend if you can fit it to get one of these seven inch grinders with a seven inch flap wheel. This thing gets down. Um, yeah, just put a put a helmet on and put it on the grind, man. And that seven inch flat wheel gets down. But 
Next time I come out, I'm going to cut this stuff right here out because I don't want to jump side to side. I'm just going to go ahead and cut all this stuff right here out. Cut some of the more of this fender out. See what of this I got to cut out. Uh, it's likely going to be that I just go ahead and just cut all this whole box out from the frame over um, because the motor belt flares come right down through here. So it's not going to leave me much in there. I may leave a little bit there. But chances are I'm not going to leave none of it. The frame's just going to stick through. I'm also going to stick a cross member from here to here and cut my factory um, mounts, body mounts off the Jeep frame that I have out front with the tank still on it and just weld them to the cross member that I'm using. And that way I can bolt that on there. And then the back ones, this one looks like it's going to get cut out. So what I thought about doing is just making one off this. But I really wanted this flush got it pretty flush um, I think I'm just gonna put a I may put a d-ring mount in each one for now and leave a little bit sticking out and put a cross member right on the back maybe some DOM and later on I might get a plate or something and when I get a bender and bend some uh, tube or something to make something cool but for right now I'm probably just gonna put two d-ring um, I don't know, make some type of insert with a D-ring on it and stick in there and weld that sucker in the end. That way it plugs that pipe shut. I'm beat. That's all I'm going to do today. I uh, appreciate y'all for watching if you made it this far. I really do. Um, I'll probably get another video out toward the middle of the week. Um, I'm going to go look at a couple more rear ends that I haven't been able to track put down yet. Um, I got a guy supposed to be messaging me here in just a minute. I hope he does. If he does, I'm gonna ski out all over there and grab that dude. If not, uh, one of my buddies thinks he has one at his shop. So I'll go out there and do that. But I'm gonna get off here. Appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see you next time.